Welcome guys, so this is the EDV, the Rivian, Amazon Rivian, whatever you like to call it, the electrical van, and I got it here hands on. I took a one day training for it, but in this video I will show you guys how it is to deliver in an EDV van, and if it's better than a cargo van, or a step van, or both. So here, let's click start travel. Head west on Jesse Port. Then in 150 feet arrive at the destination. Comes with speakers, of course. And then uh, to drive, you just simply press down. Obviously, I don't have the head mount. So you probably can't even arrive see the road. The but uh, it's okay. It's not much to see. And then break here. Not to park. You simply press the button that has P on it and you park. You don't have to use the lever or anything. And then this door opens as soon as you park every single time. And here's my workbench. Here's my work area. This is how I load up my van. I have a video on how to load the van. That's my last video, so go check that out. So yeah, we're just going to deliver here and I'm going to give you my thoughts on... Uh, I'll give you my thoughts on how I like the van. If I don't, this is my very first time delivering. But yeah, let me, guys, let me show you guys the process and everything. Hopefully you guys like the video and uh, let me know if you want more EDV content. So delivering wise is the same obviously with the phone, but you use the, you, you don't use the phone for the GPS no more. Um, there's, you, you only use the EDV when it's really good actually. So this door, you always want to get out in and out of this door. You don't want to get in and out of that door because there's barely enough space. I'll show you guys. There's barely enough space to get in and out. I mean, even if you open this door, I mean, like it's going to be very hard to get in. So I suggest not to get into that. And the training videos are going to specifically ask you to use this door only. And uh, I feel like that's true. Now the key, let me show you guys the key real quick. Oh, let me close the door. So I start this. Head south on Jesse Court for the key feet. is very small. This is the key right here. You guys can see. Keep it on you all the time. Do not leave it. When you get out the van, and I'll show you in a minute here when I drive to the first destination. When you get out the, the van and you go a certain distance, it will make a beeping noise basically saying that it's locked. So it detects and if you get close to it it will unlock that's how you unlock and lock the vehicle the car basically stays on the whole time it technically basically does the whole time uh so you don't have to push the start you don't have to use the key the start so it just simply just starts because you have like the the little remote key that you got Arrive just for you being on it so it's a little bit tricky. I was like, is this thing really on or not? But uh, it really is. This is my first electrical car. Not even van, but car like I drove. I never drove like a, any electrical vehicle whatsoever. Remember, press P to unlock. And then, uh, yeah, you keep going. Keep working. It's actually really fairly simple. I mean, there's so much space in here as well. I mean, look, this is 12 bags and 14 oversized, of course. But if it was more, I would have hella space to do it. So... Let's just keep going here and uh, keep working. So this is my workbench, as I said before. Honestly, for just driving it for a few minutes, basically, um, at first it's very weird to drive it because it's a little bit more lengthy than a step van. I mean, uh, than a cargo van, and more wider than a than the cargo van as well. So it's not as easy, but it's the same like trick. Um, basically, I feel like it's the same trick. And uh, yeah, now they have something here called a feature called one pedal, I believe it's called. Where the acceleration pedal, if you let go of the acceleration like a little bit up, it breaks. Hold on. <coughs> Oh, 
I like that slide door. Now, of course, you could turn off the the volume if you don't want to hear her, but it's my first time, so I need to know where I'm going. I don't know this area that much. But yeah, man. It's actually very simple to drive. They give you a training you get to drive around, not just around the station, but around like, you know, city, take it to the road, to the highway. Training is not that long. If you ever did any Amazon training for a delivery, like, you know, like the uh, Knet, I believe it's called, Knet training, you already know it's like easy, simple. Just watch videos and you know, you uh, do the answers and that's it, do the quizzes. But the real thing is the road test. Just learning how to drive it. And if it's your first time to do it and you have a road test to do it for this, just relax, it's fairly simple. It's basically driving a regular man. Just, you know, you don't need to... Arrive at the destination on your left. Uh, let's see where I gotta go. I got somebody on my back. So let's put these lights on. Take notes to leave me alone. There you go. Boom, park. Okay, I probably gotta walk. Probably have to do a walk here the map in the edb is uh, it's a little bit tweaking i mean like it tells you you're right next to some place and sometimes you're not really next to it so it's like mm, you know what i mean it's like iffy but uh you know it takes a good to get it used to it. so like i said you don't have to necessarily lock the van with your key all the time you just simply have to just walk away from me. You're going to hear a beep. Yep. Hopefully you guys heard that. <laughs> and here is my destination. Really hope this is recording, by the way, because I'm not using my phone to record it. Usually I go through the uh, Go Quick or whatever the GoPro app is do it from there but sometimes I get difficulty to put the Bluetooth in so I just manually just press the button I never used that before so let's just hope now I don't know I never drive with this open but you could if you want to but I probably advise not to unless you get really used to the van all right so now we gotta turn around actually getting hot in here let's turn that off i'll show you guys the controls in a minute i've had to like turn on the ac and all that stuff Head south on the right now i'm just showing you guys the delivery i might do a tour maybe i just do a tour i do a separate thing for like the tour it's gonna be my first kind of k-turn ever in this van so bear with me <laughs> if you gotta reverse click all the way up That's the backup camera. I don't know if you can really see that. All right, and then when you finish, it goes all the way down and that's the drive. Yeah, fairly simple. Now the car is very quiet. I mean, the van is very quiet. I mean, it's like, <laughs> you can barely hear it. Even if I, you know, press the pedal, like it's still kind of quiet, which is pretty cool. Like I'll go a bit. See, I, I accelerated and you can't even hear it. So, alright. No, that's annoying. The hazard Turn lights. Onto Tiffany Court, then in 150 feet but yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video in a minute here. I mean, it's not really much. I just wanted to tell you guys my thoughts. Now, is it better than the cargo van? I believe so. I think it is, but there is some still perks for the cargo vans. I feel like if I'm in a... I feel like if I'm in a very, very close cornered plays or tight roads so like very small roads but the cargo vents are way better to handle situations than that yeah, this one is a little bit wider so i wouldn't you know I me mean? i wouldn't want to ride somewhere like that because i normally deliver in the woods so those are like very tight corners small roads and shit. i have to use the driveway most of the time to get in and out and i wouldn't try doing this in this one it's possible to do in this one but I just feel more comfort comfortable with the cargo now. But it is better, spacious wise is better. Driven wise is way smoother. Uh, the looks of course is better. Uh, just being like, an, it feels like you're in the future here. Uh, you get new aspects, you get new, like, you know, you get new uh, 
new good feelings about the band and all that. So this is definitely a win. Um, better than I never drove a step van, but even I have some step van owners, not owners, drivers. They said that this van is also better than that, especially for the winter. You get seat warmers, your steering wheel also heats up. It kind of heats up the back of your your chair as well. It's just very good. Like it's actually really, really good for the winter. For the summer, I do not know yet. I'll let you guys know when the summer uh, summertime comes, of course. But it does have a fan in the back of. Uh, it has a fan like in, inside here. Um, obviously, it depends on like if the area is warm or cool enough. So if it's cool, like right now it's kind of cold in there. So if I turn on the van, then it's gonna be cool. So. Uh, yeah, let me actually show you guys a little bit of controls here. This is the slide, the door open. As you can see, seat warmers. I don't know if you can see much. This is, if you press the little band thing, this is to do all the things you want to do. So the side mirrors, you would click this, and you would hit these buttons to fix them. Uh, these are also things, cargo fan if you want it on. That's the one in here. It's going to say auto on. It's starting up so you can hear it. So it's right there. Turn that off. And yeah, test lights, all that stuff. And if you want to go to music, you press here. Your music will pop up. And if you want to go back to the map, you go here. Now, if you want to see this, if you only want to see this map in big form, you just press that and boom. This is the little map that shows you very better than this. I'm gonna have that ready and uh yeah that's technically it hope you guys like the video this is just me delivering and just giving out the basic of it i feel like it's way better than all the fans and you should definitely get the try if your dsp lets you and uh yeah uh hope you guys have a good day and uh stay safe